Hello, welcome to my channel, AI Medical School. In the last video, we were discussed acute inflammation, so in this video, we are going to discuss chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is the prolonged response of the body to the persistent injurious stimulus and is characterized by infiltration with mononuclear cells including lymphocytes, macrophages and plasma cells, tissue destruction largely induced by inflammatory cells, repair involving new vessel proliferation and fibrosis. It means chronic inflammation is the process in which destruction and repair processes go side by side. Chronic inflammation cells are 1. Lymphocytes, 2. Macrophages, 3. Plasma cells. Causes of chronic inflammation. Unresolved acute inflammation, when acute inflammation cannot be resolved either because of the persistence of the injurious agent, or because of interference in the normal process of healing, it leads to chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation without acute phase. Chronic inflammation may start from the very beginning. In such cases, the injurious agents are of low toxicity in comparison with those that lead to acute inflammation. Examples. Persistent infections. Tubercle bacilli. Treponema pallidum. Some fungi. Prolonged exposure to toxic agents. Inhaled silica. Elevated plasma lipids, autoimmune diseases, rheumatoid arthritis. Types of chronic inflammations. There are two types of chronic inflammations. Granulomatous chronic inflammation. Non-granulomatous chronic inflammation. Granulomatous chronic inflammation. This type of chronic inflammation is characterized by the formation of epithelioid cell granuloma. Epithelioid cells. These are activated macrophages that appear on microscopic examination as large cells which resemble the epithelial cells. Epithelioid cells have enhanced ability to secrete lysozyme and a variety of enzymes, but decreased phagocytic activity. Granuloma. The microscopic aggregation of epithelioid cells surrounded by a collar of lymphocytes and plasma cells is called a granuloma. Older granulomas develop an enclosing rim of fibroblasts and frequently contain giant cells in the periphery or sometimes in the center of granulomas. Pathogenesis of granuloma. Epithelioid cell granuloma forms when macrophages have successfully phagocytosed the injurious agent, but it survives inside them. For example, macrophages have decreased phagocytic activity. Granuloma formation reflects the buildup of cell-mediated immunity to the causative agent. T lymphocytes liberate lymphokines, some of which attract, immobilize and activate more macrophages. The macrophages undergo epithelioid cell transformation and the formation of granuloma occurs. A typical feature of epithelioid cell granuloma is the formation of Langen's type giant cells that are derived from the fusion of macrophages and is characterized by 10 to 50 nuclei around the periphery of the cell. The granuloma of tuberculosis has central caseous necrosis. Non-granulomatous chronic inflammation. Characteristic features. This type of chronic inflammation characterized by the accumulation of sensitized lymphocytes, plasma cells and macrophages in the injured area. These cells are scattered throughout the tissue and do not form and granulomas. Scattered tissue fibrosis is common. Causes. 1. Causes chronic viral infections. Chronic viral hepatitis. 2. Chronic autoimmune diseases rheumatoid arthritis, chronic ulcerative colitis, Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroiditis, 3. Chronic chemical intoxication, chronic alcoholic pancreatitis, chronic alcoholic liver disease, and 4. Allergic inflammation, atopic dermatitis, allergic nasal polyps, bronchial asthma. Results of chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation serves to contain and remove an injurious agent that is not easily eradicated by the body. 
chronic inflammation is often associated with tissue damage and implies serious clinical illness, such as liver failure in chronic active hepatitis. Fibrosis is a more serious side effect of chronic inflammation if it occurs to an extensive degree, such as fibrosis of the pericardial sac in chronic pericarditis, it may restrict cardiac filling and cause heart failure. Pulmonary fibrosis may cause respiratory failure. That's it for now, I hope you like it, thanks for watching, and don't forget to press subscribe button.